Hey everybody, for those who don't already know, when it comes to me um, with my gadgets, if something doesn't work exactly the way I want to, I'll make modifications to that said device to make it work just like I want to. <laughs> Here's a fine example of this. My DXG 56M VHD camcorder. I commonly use this camera, of course, to shoot YouTube videos on Q Computer Channel, but I also like to make time lapses of weather such as thunderstorms and stuff and I have a special case that I put this camera in that I custom made myself and I have a video about that case on Q Computer Channel and the only issue was while this worked very well to um, protect the camera from rain, snow, small hail that kind of stuff it kind of droned out the sound of the audio in videos that I went making tile masses of let's say for example a big thunderstorm comes through has lots of lightning and this all sorts of crazy stuff and I want us to shoot a raw video of it. While well, like I said the video quality looks excellent because of the way the case is designed, the audio quality isn't exactly the same. Because the camera's internal mic is inside the case so you kinda of get a drowned out sound of the storm. So I come up with a little fix for this. Basically what I did was I took was actually a power jack from a blood pressure monitor and I cut the end of the um, power cord from the AC adapter that went with that blood pressure monitor and that, that way I could get me a connection and I took an old computer microphone wired it to the cable that plugged into this jack and installed the jack to this camera and I'm going to show you some clips some pictures um, of the process when I done this modification it required a complete tear down of the camera. Had to take all the boards out, and um, I had to expose the CMOS sensor when I took the board out and expose the lens, everything. And um, this is why some of my newer videos, I know people had commented saying, talking about a little speck in the upper left corner of the screen. Evidently, when I was working on this thing, a piece of dust or something got caught inside the lens, and it's causing that little bitty speck apologize for the inconvenience eventually if it doesn't go away I might just tear this camera back apart to clean everything but usually those specs will eventually they'll disappear because the dust will eventually get blown out of where it was at so anyways um, that's another modification I've done to my camcorder and um, kind of answer some questions for some YouTube viewers um, about why in some of my videos you might notice a little bitty speck of dust in the the upper left corner of the, of the screen. Anyway, I tend to question your comments. Feel free to ask.